This is the hoverboard motor enhanced for better torque and performance. What we did, we enhanced magnetic field by adding 60 magnets. Previously it was 30. Also we winded for better performance, uh, performance this rotor from hoverboard motor 30 turns per slot wire is 0 0.6 millimeters now it's ready to uh, to, to to be used in a new electric bike diy mid drive no no hoverboard motor uh, can be used uh, like it's on hoverboard it must be uh, wind it properly no hoverboard motor can be used without modification it must be wound up properly otherwise it will burn very very quickly Now we're going to show you how we make DIY uh, sprocket, 14 teeth or 16 or whatever you got in your shop or in your house. Uh, whether it uses clutch or no clutch. Whether it uses clutch or no clutch, the, the way is simple. You take this cover and measure it properly to be exact three holes minimum three holes but you can put four holes way that you put the uh, free free sprocket with clutch or the fixed sprocket is that you have to take the rear hub from any bicycle that is made from steel so from the rear hub you want to take this threaded part you have to take the rear hub apart and take this threaded part or the part on the other side on the left hand side that has no threads so either you can uh, thread this free uh, sprocket or you can uh, attach by welding this uh, fixed sprocket this is 15 tooth and this is 16 tooth with free wheel so you have to drill uh, minimum three holes so that it can hold uh, the bolts have to be very thin so that they don't hit the stutter windings uh, when you these three holes or these four holes can be anywhere in in this spot so uh, the only thing thing uh, the only thing that you have to watch out for is that this part this uh, rear hub part has to align with this hole here this hub part must be symmetrical this hub must part has to align with this hole here so uh, the most uh, of the uh, rear hubs have this part that is perfectly fit fits it not perfectly but it's ra uh, around this measurement here around this circle this outside circle so when you place that, you uh, drill the holes and make these little, make these little parts, parts, parts with holes. Parts. Maybe you can use three millimeters uh, square tubing to cut these parts. This is uh, M4 bolt with uh, and, uh, with uh, nut with rubber, the breaking nut, so that uh, uh, so that this contraption doesn't fall off when you're uh, using it. So uh, the way you balance this is <laughs> we do it by eyeball so you can see this is pretty acceptable it's not done on the late you can eyeball this whole thing. <laughs> 